With the addition of USD capability feature in Mars Signer, users are able to import and export data to and from Mars Signer using the USD file format. To import an avatar in USD, click File, Import, USD. Just like OBJ and FBX file format, you can choose different load and object types. If the USD layer window is not visible in the workspace, it will appear in a new window as pop-up. You can also import add additional USD files directly from the USD layer window. If you or your team is utilizing NVIDIA's Omniverse, you can also import the USD file directly through the new Omniverse connector window. I'll change the Fabric window to the Omniverse connector window. Click the drop-down arrow next to the Omniverse logo and choose Add Server. Input your server directory. After connecting to my Omniverse Nucleus server in Marv Designer, I can access the folders and files stored on the server. Double-click on a USD file to open it. Whether you import USD file from your computer as an avatar type or through the Omniverse connector, you can use it as a collider for claws and trims. Click the simulation button and see the claws drip over the fish body. Next, I'll import the set of fins previously created to the scene. To add the fins to the existing USD file, first, I need to make sure the USD file is set to authoring layer. You can set the authoring layer by right-clicking the selected layer and choose Set Authoring Layer, or double-clicking the left mouse button. Select all the patterns for the fins, right-click, and either on the 2D or 3D window, choose Export to USD layer. Leave the check mark for mesh and material all, since I want to include both mesh and material in the USD file, and input the print pass. I will change the print pass for mesh to fish fins, and change the print pass for material to fish material, then click OK. Going back to the layer editor, you can see the new pass fins is created. Under it, you can see the pattern names, the same as you set in the property editor and the materials for the fins is added to the material pass. If the USD file is also opened in Armiverse Create, you can see this pop-up box appear. Click the Fetch button to fetch the update. Through Armiverse, you can collaborate with other applications. For example, if you have Armiverse for Unreal Engine installed, and the same USD file is opened through the Armiverse Nucleus server, you can fetch the update in Unreal Engine as well. Back in Marvel Designer, I'm going to click the simulation button and adjust the fence. You can replace the mesh and materials by saving to the same print pass. After adjustments are done, right-click and choose Export to USD layer again. Since only the mesh is changed, I'll uncheck material, input the same print pass as before, fish, fence, and click OK. Go back to Omniverse Create, click Fetch, and fetch the update. Also, fetch the update in Unreal Engine. You can also utilize Omniverse Live Session feature in Mars Designer. First, you need to create a session for the USD file in Omniverse Create, and then you can join the session in Mars Designer. The layer from the session is added as a live type in USD layer window. The layer will also have the same name as the left session layer in Omniverse Create and to be set to the authoring layer. In this demo, I am also going to join the session in Unreal Engine. You can join a left session by yourself or with other people. The session participants icon appears on the left of the Omniverse icon. Hover your mouse over the icon to see the participants and their software information. Session edits are non destructive the host can choose to merge the change to the main file in Omniverse Create or leave the session and discard the changes. To learn more about Omniverse Live, please watch the overview of Omniverse Live video by NVIDIA, linked in the description. Next, I'm going to import the pre-made CVID garment file and add it to the scene. 
then move it to the desired location in the 3D window. Import add the larger CV to the 3D window and repeat the same process. When exporting the garments using export to USD layer, the exported output will differ depending on the 3D garment rendering style state. If the 3D garments appear in thick texture surface, it will export with thickness. Select the seaweed, right click and export to USD layer. Input the desired print pass. I'm exporting the large and small CV to different print paths to make selection easier. After clicking OK, you can see the live update in Omniverse Create and Unreal Engine. Through Omniverse Connector, you are able to make changes to your garments and have live updates in other applications like Unreal Engine. This is also a great way to visualize or render your garments. In Unreal Engine, I can select the seaweeds and move them to set dress differently. Make changes in Omniverse Create and see live updates in Unreal Engine. You can also duplicate and add elements to your scene in Unreal Engine directly. Light your scene and render. Please note that Marvelous Designer cannot directly reflect any changes from Omniverse Create. If you need to use a USD file that has been modified in Omniverse Create, the file should be re-imported into Marvelous Designer.